So Yeah Oh no you're gonna turn Yeah do you turn And come back the way we came as well yeah. Can't go down there on Saturdays Nonsense Yes been there with the bread and snoop So just some little last What's minute shopping Do it quick do? before he comes Get it Gracious me. What was your camera facing this, this way? way? This way. Taking this way. Oh, shit. Yes, on us. Full it's full all full full live. Full full yeah. Whoosh. Hello, guys. How you doing? Happy New Year, everybody. Good stuff. So, um, yeah. whilst you're um, reversing, yeah. Yeah. what's been your highlight of this festive season? Um, boy, that's a good question, though. Um, Definitely having dinner with all my family Christmas Day. Beautiful. That for me was epic. It was job. Loved it. Got to see all my family. 90% of them. Um, second highlight. Nah, nah, nah. Come on. Oh. My highlight of my highlight of my of the festival. Am I going this way? About yes, you are. You're going oh. that way. Yeah. Basically, you're gonna go back the way we came. My highlight of the festive season was putting a ring on my fiance's finger last night. Epic. Yeah. And I said I wasn't gonna get on the knee. I told everybody I ain't doing it. I'm not built like that. Ain't gonna happen. So you didn't think you were built like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought I ain't doing that. So this I ain't doing that. Explain to then me like, what happened at the moment then. I, do you know what? It's, I don't, there's something, man. When I looked in her eyes, man, and I could just, oh man, I just melted, mate. I just melted, man. I just so what I find interesting I've is... I've got so moist, bro. Oh, you got moist? I was moist. I was moist. I was such How a, moist? I was such a wet guy. Like, for, like from I'm one now. one to ten, I'm, I'm, one being the Sahara Desert, ten being the Atlantic Ocean. How moist were you? The Atlantic Ocean without ice, bro. So, you, so you're trying to go above ten? Yeah. Right. I okay. Moist, Here's the interesting thing for me, though, in what you just said, yeah, is that you said, you told everyone, you're not going on one knee, yeah. you're not built like that. Yeah. I mean, you strike me as somebody who really knows himself quite well. Um, yeah. uh, the, that, <laughs> what, like, what yeah. I know of you is that you've been... Right? No, the next one. Sorry. Yeah, you, you've been to places where uh, other people may not have been within their psyche and their ability to do things to so you have a very, yeah. very, very good, right. yes, you yeah. may, good understanding of who you are yeah. and what makes you drive, tick. what yeah. makes you tick. Yeah. Yeah, at this moment, where you knew you wasn't going to get an any, you got an any. Yeah. Mm. I explain why. Go for it. Because at that time, because all my family and stuff were there, and like I thought, I ain't doing that. And there's people in the restaurant and all that sort of stuff. Like, I ain't going to do that. I'm just going to, you know, they're going to present her with the ring in her ice cream or whatever. And then I'm just going to hold her hand and I'm going to speak to her. Do you know what I mean? No. But at that point in time, when that happened, like, something took over. Like, I didn't... Yeah, something just took over. And I literally didn't give a shit. I didn't care. Oh. I didn't care. All that mattered was her. Do you know what I mean? And just to let her know how much she meant to me. Like, this, I'm getting upset just by talking. No, bro. Because the nope. thing is, nope. no, nope. like, nope. I tell you what's. Is this right? No, the next one. The next one yeah. <laughs> what's happening here? Yeah. Like, what I'm finding really interesting is, like, there's been stuff that I've just been noticing in life in this season. And here you are speaking, and these yeah. themes are coming up again. Well, Obviously, you know I'm a Christian, yeah. um, and I have this idea that um, that is Bible-based. It's from the Bible that um, men should love their their women in a similar fashion to how Jesus Christ loved the church, um, and he loved the church sacrificially. In fact, he died on the cross for us, mm. and it's just what I heard in your story was this whole thing of. You had a certain stance and a certain position, uh, but in the moment, something else took over. Some force that you were not necessarily aware of at the time took over. And in that moment, all that mattered was your bride-to-be. 
yeah, it was. It, it seemed to me like a moment of sacrifice, whereby I don't care who's watching and how stupid I may look. In fact, that thought maybe didn't even come into your mind it come to me. because it was like just I what? I didn't, I didn't see anyone. Else. You like, didn't see I, anyone but I this woman. Else. I didn't see anyone. I didn't see That's so beautiful. I was aware that obviously, obviously, I knew they were there, but like, at that point, I just didn't give a shit. So I mean, like, it didn't matter to you? Like, like, you counted it loss? It didn't, like, whatever. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, that was the highlight of my day, I think. Cool. I think, and it's really good as well because it's kind of the culmination of my holiday here. Right. I'm going home tomorrow now, do you know what I mean? And yeah. Basically, everything. And we ended it on a high. Beautiful. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. That was the highlight of my of my What's the highlight of yours, bro? Uh, no, no, I'm doing an interview here, actually. Oh. Yeah, because I've got another question for you, and I don't have a lot of time with you. I'm aware of that. Yep. So, um, you say you're going home tomorrow. Yep. Um, and knowing you for many years, bro, I just got to tell you. Well, I've never had a home. No, I'm not. Even, well, you can you can go into that if you like in a moment. But I was just gonna say I'm so inspired by you, bro. Like where I've seen you, like, like I've seen your roller coaster. Um, and to see you kind of see the video of you proposing to your missus um, yesterday, like if I wasn't such a macho tough guy, I might, I might have, you know, I might have spilled a tear. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, you would have got moist as well. Yeah. Well, I don't know about man. Man don't do moist, you know. Man don't do moist, man. Man don't do moist. Man don't do moist. Man, man does oi. Are you talking to Fabi? You look at it like that. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I I perceive you. I see you as um, at least as you know a successful man actually. Um, and I was wondering if you have any any advice. Like, what what would you what would be the one the most important thing you'd say? To anybody who is striving for success in whatever field or endeavor okay. and they'd like quite simple really normally people just say just keep on working hard keep on working hard no i would say whatever it is that you feel passionate about that you're trying to make work whatever that is mm -hmm. yeah, whether it's a business or hobby, whatever it is put yourself in a position yeah <laughs> right self-sabotage yourself and put yourself in a position where you ain't got no choice but to make it work yeah. Right, and then you'd be surprised. Right, might be a little bit long, but it will all, all of a sudden it will just and then and then right. looking back a year or two back and you'd be like, wow, like I remember having to give. I literally, I'd have maybe I'd pay my staff the last money I had in my pocket, and I've got like ten pounds last weekend. One of my staff, after I paid him, I gave him a week's wages, right? And he knew we didn't have no money. I paid him a week's wages, man. And I had 10 pounds in my pocket. You know what the brother turned around and said to me? Go on. <laughs> so what are you doing this weekend, Mark? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> right? What and the man said, no, I had 10 pounds left in my pocket, you know? Right. And that's what the man said to me. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, okay. So, but that's where, I, that's where it started from, do you understand? And right. And where I am now, like, yeah, like... Because I was put in a position where I had to make it. I had no fucking choice, man. Like, I weren't coming back home to England. I had nothing to come back to. So that was one wall shut down. Mm. I'm in another person's country. I have to pay rent. I can't live with anyone. That's another wall that I have to overcome. Do you understand? So I had to make it work. And I think for anyone else, if you're putting, like, if you've got a business, you're starting a business or whatever, and you want to make it work, put yourself in a position where it has to work, or else you're done. Right. You'd be surprised of what you what your what you what your mind suddenly is capable of achieving or what you're capable of, of, of imagining and putting on putting to, to, to bear once you're under that pressure. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You're pushing yourself in. So it's like, you know, you don't know how much weight you can lift until you keep on lifting until it's harder weights, isn't it? That's mm. what that's what it works for me. That's beautiful advice, I like that. So basically, give yourself no option but yeah. your passion. And I don't mean like, just don't give yourself the option by like, telling yourself that, yeah? Actually, put shit in place where it, you, it has to be. Do you know right. what I mean? So... It's interesting, I like, I like that. I, I kind of utilise that in some things that I do as well. Um, 
without knowing. So um, yeah. I love that. I love that yeah, advice. The only advice I can really give me is that's because that's exactly what happened to me. That's what I went through. Cool. I'm not, I'm not you, so right. So, so you kind of stumbled on that as well. Like you found yourself in a position where you had no choice, or did you purposely put yourself in that position? Well, no, no, because like, all right, cool. So, no, I put myself in that position because with, for instance, with my business, like I could have had the choice of going to another company and working whilst I was in Asia because I was doing well working for another company. And then it was at that time in my business where I said, you know what? These guys are not paying us what they're supposed to be paying us. We went, they were, they were basically robbing us, right? And um, we could have went to another company because we were that good, do you know what I mean? Top of the board every month, whatever, do you know what I mean? And, um, but then me and him sat down one evening, <laughs> he was having a few tequilas or whatever outside our apartment. And we just said, you know what? Same thing as said when I was here before. Let, let's set up our own business. And he was like, cool, all right, let's do it. And like, we got all our money saved up and then we left the company and then we started our business and it was the worst decision or the best decision by the worst time possible because like we had that seven grand thinking we're gonna make it <laughs> never had like that mate so that, that seven grand is spent on the websites so alone do you know what I mean and another bit of bobs we had no and we had no concept of how much it actually would cost but that was the thing we started the business with fuck all and we still made it work beautiful Man. Crash because we had no choice by then because we put everything into it like what are we just gonna do do you know what I mean go and take a job somewhere and it's be in limbo in Asia nah 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 fuck that um, bro you don't know how you, how much you are speaking into my season right now into your season yeah the season I'm in yeah, yeah I, I'll explain stuff in, stuff I'll explain in, this season, stuff in, <laughs> not, I, I know them season my thought but <laughs> Um, yeah, Stuffy. man. Yeah, yeah you're, you, you, you constantly inspire me. It's beautiful. So, um, when you, um, you spoke of, um, where you are now, like you wouldn't be where you are now. Um, care to tell us a little bit about where you are? Where I am now? Yeah. What, mentally, financially? How, however you, um, however you kind of interact with the question is fine. Okay, um... Where I am right now, I would never ever be homeless in my entire life. Yeah, this is always one of my main things. I was always homeless in the UK, you know, really. Mm. How many times I've been on your sofa, mm. or sleeping on the street, like literally street homeless or whatever. Because I had a system set up over here for black males. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. um, that was one of my main things, is that I would never be homeless. Last year, I bought two houses. Gonna get complete. They're building two houses. They get completed this year. Um, I've got a business now. Our business is two and a half years in. We do about two million a year turnover per year. About 10, 12 employees, something along those lines. Um, and uh, I get to look after all my fucking family, all of them, everyone different ways. I give them what they need, not what they want. And mm. I've managed to give all my family something mm. and help them. Mm. Really help them, not just, do you know what I mean, turn up to England and floss, like give them a little hundred pound here or there, like and go like, I'm, a, I'm, the, I'm the fucking man, do you know what I mean? Nah, like, nah, like I do proper shit for my family, mm. do you know what I mean? My brother, one of those houses that I'm building, that's it for my brother, so the condo, for him so I know that shit don't work here for him or he just wants to stay in Thailand he's got his own house now he's mm. got something tangible that's mm. actually his do you know what I mean a lot of people like say yeah but I've got a house I've got a house no you don't because you rent it do you know what I mean I know mm -hmm. you don't because you've got a mortgage on it for like the next 25 years yeah. you might not even be alive but like all my shit I own outright do you know what I mean so now so does my family do you know what I mean mm -hmm. so um, yeah that's that's just the start of it, but yeah, see like that, that's what I'm doing. Beautiful. Everything's for the family, bro. Everything's for the family. Man. Nice. Everything's for the family. So as we're now arriving back in the concrete jungle to drop me off. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to share? 
Or anything yeah. you feel like saying. Yep. 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 Take it from a 42 year old veteran of failure and disappointment. Never give up. That's all I can say. Beautiful. Nice one, brother. Thank you so much. When am I going to see that?